Jenny Holzer is a very important American artist who was born in 1950. She trained as a painter at uh, the Rhode Island School of Design and then attended the Whitney Museum's independent study program where she was confronted with a very daunting reading list. This is where uh, her text work began over 30 years ago. Uh, her so-called truisms, which consisted of a litany of uh, single lines, uh, these condensed maxims or aphorisms, rather brutal aphorisms, which were politically or socially tinged and addressed all kinds of issues. Uh, her writing is situated somewhere between poetry, literature, and journalism, but is in fact none of those three things but kind of form of public art. The exhibition is divided into two buildings. The uh, main building at 451 Saint-Jean is about war. The wars in Iraq and another war in the former Yugoslavia. Lately, she's been looking at declassified documents made available through the Freedom of Information Act and using these declassified documents as ready-made. So she silk screens them onto canvas in a kind of Warholian method. Uh, on the ground floor, we have uh, PowerPoint presentations made by Central Command of the military to the White House detailing the strategies for war in Iraq. On the second floor, we have two 19th century tables, on top of which are displayed in a very careful way, like a natural history display, human bones. Uh, some of the human bones have metal tags with uh, text engravings which detail the rape uh, of girls and women in the Bosnian conflict in the former Yugoslavia. On the third floor we have a work, a painting, which is not a silkscreen but a handmade painting called Waterboard, which of course is an enhanced interrogation technique, a particularly cruel form of torture. Across from this painting is a work called Thorax, which evokes the human body. Thorax is a series of LED uh, electronic signs on which uh, an endless array of documents pertaining to one incident involving a non-combatant's death at the hands of U.S. soldiers. On the top floor, another work that evokes the human body called Ribs, where endless documents on Guantanamo Bay, policy documents, testimonies of American soldiers, again, all of these declassified, redacted materials, and the redacted parts appear as X's on these um, LED works. The satellite space, on the other hand, is devoted entirely to Jenny Holzer's own writings. Uh, and these are in two uh, magnificent, dazzling, uh, immersive installations. The one behind me called For Chicago, which gathers all of her work from 1977 to 2001 in a series of 10 electronic signs which disgorge text endlessly, sentences, ideas, a whole lifetime of thinking, and then a work called Monument, which looks at two um, of her early uh, sets of writings and are displayed in a tower-like monument of light and language, uh, her truisms and her inflammatory essays, which were an exactly 100-word sort of manifestos where Jenny Holzer wanted to explore a form of rapturous or ecstatic writing where she lends her voice to extreme political, religious, or social ideologies. I hope you get a chance to see this extraordinary exhibition, uh, uh, and thank you very much.